Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the Image Viewer. Now, the Image Viewer is a pretty basic visual here you'll see. It basically allows you to take an image URL, so a URL that has an image stored at that location, and it allows you to visualize that image in a Power BI report. Super simple on what it can do. There's not a whole lot of customizations you can do to it just because you don't really need to make a whole lot of customizations to it. The whole idea is to present an image. Now, it does have to be based off of a URL. It can't be stored in a database anywhere, so ensure that you have your images stored in a URL if you want to be able to use this. You also should keep in mind that it does not support multiples. And what I mean by multiples is if you have more than one row of data and you want to be able to visualize that more than one row of data, then you need to be able to have some kind of a slicer or a filter to toggle back and forth between each of the rows that you have in your data set. So keep that in mind as you're using this. If you have more than one image you want to show, you need some way to kind of toggle back and forth between those images, which is typically going to be something like a slicer or some other type of filter. All right, you can see here who published this visual. Let's go ahead and get into where you can go download it and how to use it inside of the Power BI desktop. All right, so our first stop is going to be at the visuals, custom visuals gallery. If you go to visuals.powerbi.com, that will get you here. And we're gonna scroll down to find the image viewer. So you'll find the image viewer a little bit down. It's a few rows down here, at least now it is at this point in time. And you'll select the image viewer and go ahead and download the visual so that we can use it and walk you through how to do it. Uh, you can also download some site samples that Microsoft has posted out here. Uh, one thing I'll let you know about the samples is a lot of them didn't work in this case. Uh, because I believe that the URL where the images were stored is no longer there. So those images may have been moved or something happened to them, but the samples that I tried to use here didn't work. So just keep that in mind whenever you go to download the samples. If they don't work, hey, it didn't work for me either. But for us, we're going to download and build our own custom visual, or not build our own custom visual, but use this using our own data set. And so you go ahead and download this visual and then go ahead and take it over to the Power BI desktop. Once you uh, have that downloaded, you can flip over to the Power BI desktop where we're going to build out our own example here of how to use the image viewer. So we're gonna start by going ahead to get some data first. So we're gonna go up to the get data section up at the top here. I'll select get data, and we'll select Excel as our data source for this example. So I'll choose Excel here. Once I choose Excel, I'm gonna go find the file that you also have available to you but listed below, and it's gonna be called car listings. So we're gonna see a bunch of images of cars here that we can kind of toggle back and forth through using a slicer. All right, so I'll hit open. And that's going to connect us to our Excel spreadsheet called Car Listings. And we're going to our, really our uh, workbook. And then our spreadsheet is called Images. So we'll select Images here as our workbook. Now, one of the things you'll notice here is it looks like the first row has our header information in it. So usually we hit Load here and we go ahead and go ahead and bring the data in as it is. But in this case, I'm actually going to click, click Edit and make sure that we push this first row up into the header section. So click on Edit. And that's popped open on my other screen here. So we'll bring that over here. And this is a very easy thing to fix. All we have to do is push this first row, row number one, up into the header section so it calls this car and it calls this image. To do that, you'll go up to the top section here underneath the home ribbon and you'll see there's an option here called use first row as headers. If you select that, you'll notice that that first row is now in the name of our headers. Once you have that, you can go ahead and hit close and apply. And it'll bring that data now into our data model so we can start to be able to visualize that inside of Power BI. Now our next step is to import in the custom visual that we want to use. So the image viewer, to import that, you'll go over to the ellipses right here. So we'll select the ellipses and we'll choose import. We're going to go ahead and hit import again and then find the custom visual wherever you downloaded it. In my case, I have everything, every one of them in a the folder here. So I'm going to select the image viewer visual here and hit open. It's now successfully imported that image. You can see the little icon here for it and I'll go ahead and select and bring that on our report. I'll make it a little larger so we can see the image really well. Now, if I want to be able to place things inside of this, you'll see that it's expecting a URL over here. So over on the right-hand side, it's expecting a URL. And I'm going to go ahead and click on image here to pass that into the URL. Now, immediately you see a car up here. So it is showing and it is working. It's pulling that information from an image URL that we have. But the problem is you only see one car. And that's because it doesn't handle multiples. Like we mentioned earlier in the slides, if you want to be able to see multiple cars, then you need to add some way in here to filter so you can filter the appropriate car. So for example, in this case, what I might want to do is add in a slicer here. So if I click somewhere in the background so I can bring in a new visual, I'll go over to the slicers right here. So you'll select slicer, you can click on it or you can drag it in the design surface, whatever you prefer. And then I'll place the car field inside of that slicer. And then now well, I probably want to increase the font size of that a little bit. Let's go ahead and increase that. Bump that up a little bit by going underneath item. And we'll make that a little larger so we can see it. 
But now I can kind of toggle back and forth between each of the cars. You can see here that it's able to bring those back here correctly just based on what I have selected. Now this could have also been a bar chart or a column chart and I could have selected something from the column chart and it could have filtered based on that. But you should know whenever it's not filtered, it's automatically gonna display whatever the very first item is alphabetically here. So by default, it was showing this as Chevy Malibu. But if I wanna kind of toggle back and forth to something else, then I need to have some way of filtering that down. So that's really it for this one. It's a pretty simple one to show. It's very easy to use, but it is pretty effective at what it does in being able to display an image inside of your Power BI report. All right, stay tuned for our next custom visual. We'll see you then.